Hi, my name is Tony. I have a luxury performance car company. And you're probably wondering why I'm here. <laughs> um, so, so I don't have any slides, um, but I have a very nice video, which is kind of a world premiere that you'll have to listen to me for a maximum of eight minutes rambling about sustainability, and then you get to see that. Um, and I do want to say something with the connection of awesomeness and sustainability, or packaging something in, a, in an attractive package. Um, but I want to say thank you first to Marco, who has, I think, one of the most honest um, stories about the why he does what he does, going from banking and establishment to venture to sustainability. And I think this is really important to understand why people do this, not just why, why it's, uh, it's important. Um, so I want to spend a little bit of time um, justifying why the world needs another performance luxury car company. Um, so I will start with the why not. Um, why not start a car company? Um, it's a very bad choice entrepreneurially. Um, needs too much money, needs too much time, the market is too difficult. Um, why start it in Switzerland? Also a bad idea, not enough money, people are too conservative, you know, they don't like to invest a ton of money in stuff like that. And why do it as me? Um, as Marco said, I'm, uh, there's a specter of this huge family that already is connected to a car company <laughs> that is following me around. So of course it's horrifying that one of the members starts their own car company. So, so the, the question isn't, does the, does the world need another car company or another luxury car company, but does Europe need another innovation accelerator? And this is what we're doing. So, and this is what I'm actually passionate about is, and this is why it's, it's uh, worth the pain of, of getting into this business because um, as Klaus Hommel said this morning, innovation needs to come from startups. Um, it doesn't come from established players. It doesn't come from the Volkswagens and Daimlers um, of this world. This isn't, this isn't a, this isn't meant to be, um, this isn't meant to be belittling because there's an innovation that can come from startups that is different because they're quicker to adopt. So in our case, end-to-end -end, um, adoption of a new technology takes two and a half years instead of four and a half years. And we don't have any vested interest in any technology except the modular platform that we have. So it's much easier for us financially and it's much easier for us um, um, regulation-wise and everything to, to adopt something, bring it to market. It's also very good business. We're raising a Series B, so it's not like you cannot come to me and talk to me about our business model. Um, but the innovation part and the sustainability part is something that's really, really important to us. So, as an example, um, we charge in, in less than five minutes. That's what we do as a, as a, as a sports car. Um, and the competition does not. So even though we're not relevant in terms of volume, so we're going to produce at the peak maximum some 10,000 cars across different performance um, models. Um, so, so really a drop in the sea. But if a car that is awesome and that looks great can charge in five minutes or less, you can, you can bet that the other companies are forced to innovate. They're forced to basically um, go along with this. It's one of the biggest problems in mobility is that big companies aren't incentivized to innovate. So, so this is my case for, for small innovative startups that are very quick at adopting new technology. As Marco said, we're electric, um, but we're also very open for partnerships, right? So I've heard, I mean, I like hearing myself talking, but I also really, really like what I heard today from many, many of you. Um, so, so I hope we're mingling and I hope we get to talk um, and, and see whether there's some way to stick our heads together around financing, about technology adoption, um, if there's anything in the mobility space, um, I'm, uh, I'm very happy and, and wide open for conversations. And as I promised, I think my Marco is, is happy for, for every minute that, uh, that uh, we can catch up uh, with, uh, with the schedule. So without further ado, I will show you what we think is emotional and what people want. I've had lots of conversations off the books here with people about cars because people like it. And we think you can actually marry technology and marry innovation with something that people like. So here goes nothing.
Thank you.